Guess who's back? Max back, back again. In this episode, how do I protect my home network? Wow! First things first, ditch the defaults on your router. Be sure to change your network name, the SSID. That's the name you look for when you're connecting to your Wi-Fi. Be sure to change the default password. Not doing these first steps makes it dead easy for someone to own your entire network and gives bad actors an unfettered access to your data. Get your PayPal out for limited time. Get your floppy disk of doom. Use a passphrase or a strong password for that router login. There are many websites out there to let you know if a password or a passphrase is strong or not. Use encryption. Protect your data. This is pretty standard nowadays on most routers, but it's better to check it and be safe. You're going to want to use WPA, PSK with AES. Okay, chill, Karen. WPA2 just means you're using the latest protocol to help you secure your wireless connection. PSK means pre-shared key. It's the password that you'll use when you actually connect to your Wi-Fi. Make sure it's complex as well. AES just means encryption, and strong encryption at that. Caps locks, preventing logins since 1980. Try to keep your Wi-Fi coverage limited to your house. Place it in the middle of your house. Avoid placing it near any windows. After all, you're literally advertising your network to the world. Update your devices. Try to ensure you update the software on all your devices, your routers, your computers, your smartphones, your smart devices. Updates are fixes, and fixes are there for a reason, folks. But why bother at all? <laughs> what the hell? Beyond being compromised worse than Yahoo in 2016, what if someone uses your Wi-Fi and racks up your data bill? What if someone uses your Wi-Fi for fraudulent activity? You could be on the hook. Do you really want to add more to the botnet pile? Hold on while I overthink this. There's many more advanced features as well. Turn on some of the security features and try them out. Turn on the firewall. Try some DNS sync holding. Try some Euro filtering. Hide the SSID so that people can't even see your network. Use MAC address filtering so that only devices you choose can connect to your network. All of these can help prevent some serious badness 5000. And as always, if you don't know, ask. Dear heavy metal IT guy, Mac or PC? Well, the box said requires Windows 10 or better. I installed OS X.